Ready back at it. I'm sure it feels good to still be going and continuing this 2019 campaign. Just mood today, first day back. Good spirits, love it. The guys came in, we put everyone together, then a group did regen, and then the group that uh, got some extra training, uh, did, we had to get a little bit of a higher workload with them. We're very good. So it's when you have that, you know, it helps when you win. You know, guys come in with good spirits, and we just get, keep, continue to do what we've been doing, get guys ready, and then we'll mix everyone in tomorrow and have one session to try to uh, implement the tactics that we're going to use against Seattle. Nice thing that you've talked about all year with this group, a lot of options in all spots. Everybody is really bought in, and you have the ability to make changes where you need. Are you looking at things that Seattle brings that are going to maybe impact your choices, also not only just the quick turnaround as well? For sure. Uh, Seattle's a very good team. We've played them twice this year. We've, we've, we've played them you know, every year where we, I think we match up pretty well against each other. Um, but, you know, playoff atmosphere in their stadium, uh, it's going to be a tough game. So, yeah, we'll take a look at all our guys. You know, today the region guys quickly went in there and they'll, they'll do all the region and medical stuff. And we'll see what we need to do to balance out the team to, to be able to compete. Because we know you go on the road those first few minutes, as much as you want to control them, a lot of times it's, it, it's tough to manage because of the energy of the opponent. Um, so we, we got to put out the best fresh legs together. If it's the same group, then it's the same group. If we have to insert some new players in there, then we're going to do it. And you mentioned that you guys match up well together. What in particular do you like about this matchup between RSL and Seattle? It's just they're two teams that I think want to have the ball. They want to, they want to, you know, they, uh, you know, first options to look to control the ball and, and try to win the game with ball possession at times. Um, team that's both teams are good on the break. Uh, so it's just, it's not, it never becomes a, a kicking fest. It, you know, there's, it's not to say it's not physical, but it's, uh, it's two teams that are going to try to go and score. So that's always, that's always a good thing. With the short turnaround, I mean, you've mentioned a couple of times that like it's going to, it might be, well, one time, that it might be hard to keep the same 11. Um, if you don't, how, how important is like keeping maybe as much of them as possible just so you can have like the same continuity that it give you so much success throughout the season and obviously the other day? Yeah, no, when I say that, I mean, I, I can't make decisions until we know how, how the guys really are. Uh, that's, th today's usually the day they feel it. So I'll go in there and I'll get the feedback from all the medical and science department. And they'll tell me, yeah, these guys can go ahead. Uh, we might be, have to be a little lighter on them tomorrow. Um, some guys just react to it differently. So again, what I'm just saying is with the squad we have, there's no hesitation that if we have to, uh, you know, give someone else an opportunity because we feel that they can give us just a little bit earlier in the game, then we'll do that. Uh, we've managed to do that all season. Um, and it, this game isn't any different. I know it's a playoff game. We, we want to put the best chemistry team out there. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if, if, if the, the person's not 100%, then we then we got to make some adjustments. How much does adrenaline kind of like play into that? You know, I mean, even though it's a short turnaround and stuff, like it is playoffs, it is winter go home, you guys are going to go to a stadium where it's going to be loud, it's going to be a lot of people. I mean, I'm sure that like some of the adrenaline <coughs> kind of offsets anybody maybe being a little tired. Yeah. For sure. So that's again why we got to be, you know, super careful. Because even when someone maybe in the regular season feels it a little more, just the energy comes in. And we've been talking a lot about the mental aspect of the game because that's that's when it gets to this, that's what pushes you through. That's what lets you have perseverance in, in the in the tough moments. And, and that's what got us through the Portland game when there was moments that were very tough. The guy stepped up, freezing cold weather. The opponent's coming at you. Um, we we dealt with that. So. Yes, the mental aspect is huge. The adrenaline, as you say, I call it more the the, the mental, where we can endure more, uh, is is huge. Some guys, you know, you saw you you guys saw the atmosphere at the stadium. It was way different than a than than the league game. So, and that will definitely kicks in a little extra for everybody. You obviously had a whole season of road results, uh, probably not road games, I should say. Some approaches probably worked, and some didn't going into it. How much do you? Look at previous results, whether it was Seattle or other places, and think, okay, that was a mentality that worked. That one didn't work. I mean, as you try and formulate it. Yeah, anytime we, we get a result, it worked. But um, now we, we liked, if you take a look at the Kansas City game that we went, it was a game that they came at us. We endured some stuff, maybe got lucky on one. I think they had a PK and missed it right before halftime. Um, but we still had the right attitude there. But it could have been quickly the other way around early in the game. No, we managed. We kept fighting. We ended up getting the result. A Dallas game, for example, we get the 0-0. I thought we were good from beginning to end. Didn't get the goal, but we were controlled the game defensively, offensively. But for the most part, the guys have had very good um, 
um, road results, good, good mental strength, and it doesn't change. It doesn't change. There's not going to be any secrets between us and Seattle uh, now. Uh, we've seen each other more than enough time. We've seen that video more than enough time. Um, it's just going to become a, a good collective. We feel very, very confident in our collective group and how we defend, how we attack. Can it get better? Of course it can. Um, and guys will have to give their best to, to so we get that out of them. Um, but we're, we're confident. We're going to go in with a good mentality, trying to, trying to win, just like we did last year against LAFC. We've done it before, and I think uh, the team's good enough to go do it again. Silva got the nod over Gladys, center back in this last game. What went into that decision? Matchups. Matchups. Um, there's one thing we've been communicating with them. I know. I know fans get upset because they, they tend to pick players that are their favorite player because they said hi to him maybe at a store or something. And, <laughs> but you know the reality is, uh, I got to do what's best for the team. Um, Joel came in as a sub, trained excellent last time, came in and made a difference for us. Justin Glad played very good in Vancouver. Nothing against him in this game. He knows it. I communicated it to him. I thought Marcelo and, and Nathan was going to be the best pair up against what we were going to get from Portland. Now we got to rethink because the lineup and front line from Seattle is different characteristics from the front front line from 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 Portland. Just to be a little specific, Ebios is a big guy, strong. Uh, we thought we had to match that up with. Um, Seattle's quick, faster, tight, smaller guys are very good. So we got to think that we got to. We always look to put our team in the best position to win the game. And and sometimes I got to put my egos aside so I can and, and pick someone else. Um, and other times the, the players got to do the same thing. Whatever we can do for the team to win is what we're going to do. Do you take anything from how FC Dallas kind of approached the game on Saturday up in Seattle? FC Dallas was not afraid. FC Dallas was quickly to attack. Um, and w we learned from that. There's, you know, there's one thing we can't go over to Seattle and sit back and just absorb and absorb and absorb. Will there be moments that we do that? Yeah, we'll have to, but it's not by design that we're just going to go there and sit back and try to just nick one goal. We, we're going to go and we're going to throw our punches and we're going to take some punches. And, and Kyle said it best the other day, you know, someone's going to get hit in the mouth and then see how you respond from it. What we know is we've, we've gone ahead on the road and we've kept the lead. We've also come back in, in, in this, this year. So we're ready for, for whatever comes at us, ready to react. If ideally, we score first and we, and we keep the lead. Um, but if we get scored on first, we're not going to be a team that puts our, our, our hands down and you know, we're going to come back and try to get the, the result. And Freddie, in the new playoff format, you saw everything you probably want out of a playoff game from every single matchup across the league because there is no second game. You have to win. So do you like the way, just sorry to not make it RSL Seattle-centric, but just the way that this new playoff format has played out so far? And do you expect the same in, obviously, the upcoming Western Conference? I personally semi? like the, how meaningful the games were towards the end of the year. It almost... Those last games, the Galaxy, the Houston, were good preparation games for playoff. They, all, they felt like playoff, too. So there was a sense of must win if you want to get up higher in the standings, all that. So I think that prepped us for, for leading into what, what Portland. Um, and then to answer your other question, or going into Seattle, it's the same thing. I think we're prepped. We've been on the road in Vancouver, got a road win. We were, uh, had a quick lead in Houston. They came back at us, started dominating us, and we responded in the second half to that. This game, we came out strong. Didn't, you know, maybe the second half, we lost a little bit of control, regained it at the end, had to score a goal. We've seen it all. So I think we're, we're prepped for, for what we can face in Seattle.